All right, hello everyone and welcome to game three now in the series. All right, let me go ahead and get it queued up. There you go. Game three taking place here on Secret Valley. Sonic spawning as the blue night elf on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, on the top right hand side, Reprisal spawning as the pink human. We are all tied up at one game apiece. And first of all, I want to let you guys know this is Warcraft Wednesday and I will be casting more games tomorrow. Another thing I will let you know is I believe this is a best of... Well, let's just say that there is more than three games in this series. So if you guys have liked what you have seen so far, make sure to and tune in tomorrow to continue watching and enjoy these two players. Come in with some beautiful micro. Some of the best micro I've seen in, in, in quite a while, um, more than just from one player. So a lot of good action back and forth, not sheer dominance of micro from one player, but decent micro from both players so far. As we are going into an altar of elders, there is that moon well, and where is the Ancient of War? Alright, so Sonic not going for an Ancient of War, going for a Keeper of the Grove. <coughs> Keeper of the Grove, now being trained, and I am really curious as to what Sonic is trying to do. Um, Keeper of the Grove, one of those heroes that you don't see very often. I would not have guessed Keeper of the Grove as the primary hero, as we now see three Wisp on the move. The Wisp are most likely there for, um, for detonation against that Archmage's Water Elementals. We are going into a Hunter's Hall. Are we going into a Tower Rush? No, Ancient of War also coming in. So it's Keeper of the Grove Huntresses, which do seem a little bit odd. Now back down over here, the Wisp is making its way over, and it will um, get scouted here by Reprisal's Footmen, but these two Wisp will most likely not be scouted at all. This Wisp will be pulled away in the opposite direction, that Footman doing a great job thinking, hey, I'm going to protect the Archmage from any Wisp action here, but now in comes a Militia, and here we go. The Keeper of the Grove does have a very fast movement speed and could come in and cause a lot of problems. He, and that one water elemental now tanking a lot of damage. The Wisp is backing away. There's one detonation. Are we going to get perhaps another detonation here in just a moment? Trying to figure out the Wisp. Trying to figure out where it can go. There's another detonation there. As we see some damage is being dealt. That water elemental very low. And in comes the Keeper. The Keeper trying to get some easy shots off. Takes down. Does it get the experience? No. The Archmage still gets the experience there. So Keeper of the Grove not lucking out in that fight, and now going to be dealing with an Arcane Tower as well. The, um, all of the workers are rather far away, and we are going to see an Entanglement onto the Peasant. How many shots does it take? Um, I believe that Entanglement does last a good 8 seconds. Is it going to actually take it down? 12 hit points. Oh no, does not take it down. One more tick would have been enough, but no. Keeper of the Grove deciding to pull back. And this is rather odd. Things are not going well. We are going into double Ancient of Wars with Huntresses. And now I really think that uh, perhaps a Potom with True Shot Aura would have been better. But then again, it would have tipped his hand very, very early on as the Footmen are getting masked up to deal with this Keeper of the Grove. The problem is that... While you are entangled, while those footmen are entangled, that a Keeper of the Grove pretty much neutralizes that here that unit. Now, you do get a very long entanglement at level 2 and level 3, but level 1 isn't really that high. You can see some damage being dealt to that militia already. It looks like it will get taken down. Um, yes, one, one final kill already coming in. Are we going to get another entanglement as we are seeing some damage being dealt? And, oh, the militia got in, getting caught up on themselves here. Some more damage coming back in. Keeper of the Grove coming in. Are we going to get another detonation? Yes, that water elemental is low on hit points. It may get taken down. One more or two more hits would have done it, but the Keeper of the Grove switches targets. And that is a little bit odd. Why did he switch targets? I'm not 100% sure. As the Militia now making their way back over. Huntress is trying to come in. And will it get off another shot off there? One more shot will do it. And oh, doesn't get the shot off now. Trying to make its way down that narrow alley. Cannot make it through. Keeper of the Grove still backing away. Are we teching the Tier 2 Tree of Life? No teching. Staying at Tier 1. Not even weapons upgrade damage at all. As the Huntresses really need to be smart in how they engage. Finding a Footman. And now, perhaps going to get in some damage onto that Water Elemental. Footmen are coming in. The Water Elemental could engage as the Huntress is now trying to finish it off. Will they get the experience? 
yes, I believe they do. And now we can see that a couple of these peasants could get taken on. Oh, one huntress, what is it doing? Getting caught behind, now being forced to shadow meld in the essentially in the main base or the new expansion here. And things are not looking good for Sonic. Reprisal taking a very, very commanding um, lead right now. But Sonic looking to lay down the pressure. And if these towers do go up, Reprisal is pretty much going to be able to run on two bases compared to a tier 1 1 base Sonic. More fighting, but going back and forth. Huntress needs to back off here in just a moment. Looks like it will be able to do exactly that, that faster movement speed. The Keeper of the Grove could get off some entanglements as well. Not quite sure why it isn't. Still, three Huntresses looking to come in. And now the towers are getting up and operational, which is bad, bad news here. The Water Mental now trying to back away. The tower dealing a lot of damage to the Huntress. The Huntress needs to back off, get away from the tower. Are we going to get a nice shot off onto the Water Mental, giving a little bit of experience, but still sitting at level 1 compared to a level 2 Arch mage sonic is in a bit of trouble is he going to be able to oh healing at the fountain of health and with this he should be able to get back up to full hit points and perhaps even try that red drake or perhaps pull that away that red drake are we going to get thorns or a yes we are and also shadow melding with the lower hit point huntresses to make sure that they don't take any more piercing damage from that red drake that currently cannot get taken down why is the keeper of the grove going up against a red drake when the red drake's on top of a fountain bad micro i would say the least as we now see that the no warden is going to get taken down here in just a moment footman all low on hit points an item clause of attack plus six now being picked up and now we're going to see the keeper of the grove perhaps run away pretty much at full hit points as the water are the archmage now looking to perhaps heal back up at a separate fountain of health Archmage needs to get these footmen healed back up and in a hurry. Both sides having a similar story. Red Drake now going to be fighting up on Archmage that is perhaps not close enough to that one fountain of health and now getting closer there. Both sides are fighting it up. You can see ancient protectors are being placed down and now trying to take down this one guard tower. Not going to really work. Units are going to be backing off instead as this one town hall is pretty much well protected as well. A tower rush about seven minutes into this game. The, hunt, the altar of kings may get taken down here as it is nope, still just within guard tower range as the huntresses can only attack from this side. The footmen need to engage. They need a mass tele or teleport back, but there's not going to be that much mana either. Red Drake did drop bone chimes. So Vampiric Aura to try and counteract the Thorns Aura on the Huntresses. All right, Ancient Protectors now making their way over. It looks like the Archmage is now going to be making a move down here into the main base. Sonic still sitting at Tier 1. And meanwhile, we are still seeing that Tier 1 here. Guard Tower now trying to be repaired as the Ancient Protector is going to be tanking some of that damage. And here we go, now rushing in. Um, Keeper of the Grove did get some arcane um, feedback there as now the Ancient Protector is now still waking their way in. Should perhaps be eating some trees as we're going to see an engagement here. Meanwhile, an engagement down here as well. Sonic now regenerating some, or sorry, Reprisal now regenerating some life as we see some Tree of Life um, getting repaired by the Mass Wisp here. The Wisp <coughs> trying to keep up the Tree of Life. Meanwhile, we're still seeing more attacking coming in as the Huntresses are going to get taken down by the Guard Towers. The Ancient Protectors are still in position. Level 3 now on the Keeper of the Grove as we see some Mass Repairing going on. Should really be focusing down here. S uh, Squirrel Town Portal now trying to come back. Is it going to take down the Tree of Life? The Tree of Life is still up. As we now see the Archmage still trying to attack back. And there is the GG from Sonic. <coughs> Sonic losing game 3 after Reprisal sets up his own fast expansion. And Sonic unable to stop the main base. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game 3. Stay tuned for the rest of the series tomorrow on Warcraft Thursday as well.